the Novena of the Holy Cloak in honor of St. Joseph. In nomine Patre et Filii et Spiritus Sancti, Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, I give thee my heart and my soul. Gloria, Patri, et Filio, et Spiritus Sancto, sicut era in principio, et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. Gloria, Patri, et Filio, et Spiritus Sancto, sicut era in principio, et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Gloria, Patri, et Filio, et Spiritus Sancto, sicut era in principio, et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. O gracious Patriarch St. Joseph, I humbly prostrate myself before thee. I beg thee, Lord Jesus, thine immaculate spouse, the Blessed Virgin Mary, and all the angels and saints in the heavenly court to join me in this devotion. I offer thee this precious cloak while pledging my sincerest faith and devotion. I promise to do all in my power to honor thee throughout my lifetime to prove my love for thee. Help me, St. Joseph. Assist me now and throughout my lifetime, but especially at the moment of my death, as thou were assisted by Jesus and Mary, that I may join thee one day in heaven and there honor thee for all eternity. Amen. O glorious patriarch St. Joseph, I prostrate before thee and thy divine Son, Jesus, I offer thee with heart-to-felt devotion this precious treasury of prayers, being ever mindful of the numerous virtues which adorn thy sacred person. In thee, O glorious patriarch, was fulfilled the dream of thy precursor, the first Joseph, who indeed seemed to have been sent by God to prepare the way for thy presence on this earth. In fact, not only wert thou surrounded by the shining splendor of the rays of the divine Son, Jesus, but thou wert splendidly reflected in the brilliant light of the mystical moon, the Blessed Virgin Mary. O glorious patriarch, if the example of the ancient Jacob, who personally went to congratulate his favorite son, who was exalted on the throne of Egypt, served to bring all his progeny there, should not the example of Jesus and Mary, who honored thee with their greatest respect and trust, serve to bring me, thy devoted servant, to present thee with this precious cloak in thy honor? Grant, O great St. Joseph, that the Almighty God may turn a benevolent glance towards me, as the ancient Joseph did not reject his guilty and cruel brothers, but rather accepted them with love and protected and saved them from hunger and death. I beseech thee, O glorious Patriarch, through thine intercession, grant that the Lord may never abandon me in this exiled valley of sorrows. Grant that he may always number me as one of thy devoted servants, who dost live serenely under the patronage of thy holy cloak. Grant that I may live always within the protection of this patronage, every day of my life, and particularly at that moment when I draw my dying breath. Amen. Hail, O glorious Saint Joseph, thou who art entrusted with the priceless treasures of heaven and earth, and foster father of him who doth nourish all the creatures of the universe. Thou art after Mary, the saint most worthy of our love and devotion. Thou alone, above all the saints, wert chosen for that supreme honor of rearing, guiding, nourishing, and even embracing the Messiah, whom so many kings and prophets would have so desired to behold. St. Joseph, save my soul, and obtain for me, from the divine mercy of God, that petition for which I humbly pray. And for the holy souls in purgatory, grant a comfort, a great comfort, from their pain. Amen. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritu Sancto, sicur era in principio et nunc et semper et in secula seculorum. Amen. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritu Sancto, sicur era in principio et nunc et semper et in secula seculorum. Amen. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritu Sancto, sicur era in principio et nunc et semper et in secula seculorum. Amen. 
O powerful St. Joseph, thou wert proclaimed the patron of the universal church. Therefore I invoke thee above all the other saints as the greatest protector of the afflicted, and I offer countless blessings to thy most generous heart, always ready to help in any need. To thee, O glorious St. Joseph, come the widows, the orphans, the abandoned, the afflicted, the oppressed. There is no sorrow, heartache, or anguish which thou hast not consoled. Deign, I beseech thee, to use on my behalf those gifts which God hath given thee, until I too shall be granted the answer to my petition, and thou, holy souls in purgatory, pray to St. Joseph for me. Amen. Gloria Patria et Filio et Spiritu Sancto, sicut era in principio et nunc et semper et in secula seculorum. Amen. Gloria Patria et Filio et Spiritu Sancto, sicut era in principio et nunc et semper et in secula seculorum. Amen. Gloria Patria et Filio et Spiritu Sancto, sicut era in principio et nunc et semper et in secula seculorum. Amen. Countless of those who have prayed to thee before me and have received comfort and peace, graces and favors. My heart, so sad and sorrowful, cannot find rest in the midst of this trial which besets me. O glorious Saint Joseph, thou knowest all my deeds, even before I set them forth in prayer. Thou knowest how important this petition is for me. I prostrate myself before thee as I sigh under the heavy weight of the problem which confronts me. There is no human heart in which I can confide my sorrow, and even if I should find a compassionate creature who would be willing to assist me, still he would be unable to help me. Only thou can help me in my sorrow, St. Joseph, and I beg thee to hear my plea. Has not St. Teresa left it written in her dialogues that the world may always know whatever you ask of St. Joseph you shall receive? O St. Joseph, comforter of the afflicted, have pity on my sorrow and pity on those poor souls who place so much hope in their prayers to thee. Amen. Gloria Patria et Filio et Spiritu Sancto, sicut era in principio et nunc et semper et in secula seculorum. Amen. Gloria Patria et Filio et Spiritu Sancto, Sicut era in principio et nunc et semper et in secula seculorum. Amen. Gloria Patria et Filio et Spiritu Sancto. Sicut era in principio et nunc et semper et in secula seculorum. Amen. O sublime patriarch Saint Joseph, because of thy perfect obedience to God, thou mayest intercede for me. For thy holy life, full of grace and merit, hear my prayer. For thy most sweet name, help me. For thy most holy tears, comfort me. For thy seven sorrows, intercede for me. For thy seven joys, console me. From all harm of body and soul, deliver me. From all danger and disaster, save me. Assist me with thy powerful intercession and seek for me through thy power and mercy all that is necessary for my salvation, and particularly the favor of which I now stand in such great need. Amen. Gloria Padre et Filio et Spiritu Sancto, sicut era in principio et nunc et semper et in secula seculorum. Amen. Gloria Padre et Filio et Spiritu Sancto, sicut era in principio et nunc et semper et in secula seculorum. Amen. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritu Sancto, sicut era in principio et nunc et semper et in secula seculorum. Amen. O glorious Saint Joseph, countless are the graces and favors which thou hast obtained for afflicted souls, illness of every nature, those who are oppressed, persecuted, betrayed, bereft of all human comfort, even those in need of their life-bread, all who implored thy powerful intercession, are comforted in their affliction. Do not permit, O dearest St. Joseph, that I alone be the only one of all who hast appealed to thee to be denied this petition, 
which I so earnestly beg of thee. Show thy kindness and generosity even to me, that I may cry out in thanksgiving, eternal glory to our holy patriarch St. Joseph, my great protector on earth, and the defender of the holy souls in purgatory. Amen. Gloria Patria et Filio et Spiritus Sancto, sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper et in secula seculorum. Amen. Gloria Patria et Filio et Spiritus Sancto, sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper et in secula seculorum. Amen. Gloria Patria et Filio et Spiritus Sancto, sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper et in secula seculorum. Amen. Eternal Father, who art in heaven, through the merits of Jesus and Mary, I beg thee to grant my petition. In the name of Jesus and Mary, I prostrate myself before thy divine presence, and I beseech thee to accept my hopeful plea, to persevere in my prayers, that I may be numbered among the throngs of those who live under the patronage of St. Joseph. Extend thy blessing on this precious treasury of prayers, which I today offer to him as a pledge of my devotion. Amen. Gloria Patria et Filio et Spiritus Sancto, sicut era in principio et nunc et semper et in secula seculorum. Amen. Gloria Patria et Filio et Spiritus Sancto, sicut era in principio et nunc et semper et in secula seculorum. Amen. Gloria Patria et Filio et Spiritus Sancto, sicut era in principio et nunc et semper et in secula seculorum. Amen. St. Joseph, pray that Jesus may come into my soul and sanctify me. St. Joseph, pray that Jesus may come into my heart and inspire me with charity. St. Joseph, pray that Jesus may come into my mind and enlighten it. St. Joseph, pray that Jesus may guide my will and strengthen it. St. Joseph, pray that Jesus may direct my thoughts and purify them. St. Joseph, Pray that Jesus may guide my desires and direct them. St. Joseph, pray that Jesus may look upon my deeds and extend his blessings. St. Joseph, pray that Jesus may inflame me with his love and love for him. St. Joseph, request for me from Jesus the imitation of thine virtues. St. Joseph, request for me from Jesus true humility of spirit. St. Joseph, request for me from Jesus meekness of heart. St. Joseph, request for me from Jesus peace of soul. St. Joseph, request for me from Jesus a holy fear of the Lord. St. Joseph, request for me from Jesus a desire for perfection. St. Joseph, request for me from Jesus a gentleness of heart. St. Joseph, request for me from Jesus a holy acceptance of suffering. St. Joseph, request for me from Jesus the wisdom of faith. St. Joseph, request for me from Jesus his blessing of perseverance in my good deeds. St. Joseph, request for me from Jesus the strength to carry my crosses. St. Joseph, request for me from Jesus a disdain for the material goods of this world. St. Joseph, request for me from Jesus the grace to always walk on the narrow path toward heaven. St. Joseph, request for me from Jesus the grace to avoid all occasion of sin. St. Joseph, request for me from Jesus a holy desire for eternal bliss. St. Joseph, request for me from Jesus the grace of final perseverance. St. Joseph, do not abandon me. St. Joseph, pray that my heart may never cease to love thee, and that my lips may ever praise thee. St. Joseph, for the love thou bore for Jesus, grant that I may learn to love him. St. Joseph, graciously accept me as thy devoted servant. St. Joseph, I give myself to thee. Accept my pleas and hear my prayers. St. Joseph, do not abandon me at the hour of my death. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, I give thee my heart and my soul. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritus Sancto, sicud era in principio et nunc et semper et in secula seculorum. Amen. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritus Sancto, Sicud era in principio, et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. Gloria Patria et Filio, et Spiritus Sancto. Sicud era in principio, et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. 
Remember, O most chaste spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary, my good protector, St. Joseph, that never was it known that anyone who came to thy protection and sought thy intercession was left unaided. Confidently I prostrate myself before thee and fervently beg for thy powerful intervention. O foster father of our dear Redeemer, despise not my petition, but in thy mercy hear and answer me. Amen. Glorious St. Joseph, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary and virginal father of Jesus, look upon me and watch over me. Lead me on the path of sanctifying grace. Take heed of the urgent needs which I now beg thee to envelop within the folds of my fatherly cloak. Dismiss those obstacles and difficulties standing in the way of my prayer, and grant that the happy answer to my petition may serve for the greater glory of God and my eternal salvation. As a pledge of my undying gratitude, I promise to spread the word of thy glory while offering thanks to the Lord for having so blessed thy power and might in heaven and earth. Amen. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God the Holy Ghost, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Noble Sion of David, pray for us. Light of the Patriarchs, pray for us. Spouse of the Mother of God, pray for us. Chaste Guardian of the Virgin, pray for us. Foster Father of the Son of God, pray for us. Sedulous Defender of Christ, pray for us. Head of the Holy Family, pray for us. Joseph Most Just, pray for us. Joseph Most Chaste, pray for us. Joseph Most Prudent, pray for us. Joseph Most Valiant, pray for us. Joseph Most Obedient, pray for us. Joseph Most Faithful, pray for us. Mirror of Patience, pray for us. Lover of Poverty, pray for us. Model of All Who Labor, pray for us. Glory of Family Life, pray for us. Protector of Virgins, pray for us. Pillar of Families, pray for us. Consolation of the Afflicted, pray for us. Hope of the Sick, pray for us. Patron of the Dying, pray for us. Terror of Demons, pray for us. Protector of Holy Church, pray for us. Lamb of God, who takest away the sins of the world, spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takest away the sins of the world, graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takest away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. He made him the Lord of his household and prince over all his possessions. Let us pray. God, who in thine ineffable providence didst vouchsafe to choose blessed Joseph to be the spouse of thy most holy mother, Grant, we beseech thee, that we may be worthy to have him for our intercessor in heaven, whom on earth we venerate as our protector, who livest and reignest world without end. Amen. O glorious patriarch St. Joseph, thou who wert chosen by God above all men to be the earthly head of the most holy of families, I beseech thee to accept me within the folds of thy holy cloak, that thou mayest become the guardian and custodian of my soul. From this moment on I choose thee as my father, my protector, my counselor, my patron, and I beseech thee to place in thy custody my body, my soul, all that I am, all that I possess, my life and my death. Look upon me as one of thy children. Defend me from the treachery of my enemies, invisible or otherwise. Assist me at all times in all my necessities. Console me in the bitterness of my life and especially at the hour of my death. Say but one word for me to the divine Redeemer, whom thou wert deemed worthy to hold in thine arms, and to the Blessed Virgin Mary, thy most chaste spouse. Request for me those blessings which will lead me to salvation. Include me amongst those who art most dear to thee, and I shall set forth to prove myself worthy of thy special patronage. Amen. In nomine Patri, et Filio, et Spiritu Sancto. Amen. A prayer to St. Joseph. To thee do we cry in our tribulations, O blessed St. Joseph, as we confidently invoke thy patronage. 
after that of thy most holy spouse, the Blessed Virgin Mary. By the sacred bond of devotion, which linked thou to the Immaculate Virgin Mother of God, and for the fatherly love thou lavished on the child Jesus, we beg thee to cast a glance on those heavenly gifts which the Divine Redeemer has obtained for all mankind through his precious blood and through thy power and mercy. Help us in our needs. O Holy Protector of the Holy Family, protect us children of the Lord Jesus Christ. Keep far from us the errors and evils which corrupt the world. Assist us from heaven and in our struggles against the powers of darkness. And as thou once protected the divine child from the cruel edict of Herod, now defend the church and keep it safe from all dangers and threats. Spread over all of us thy holy patronage, so that th by following thy example and aided by thine spiritual guidance, we may all aspire to a virtuous life, look to a holy death, and secure for ourselves the blessings of eternal happiness in heaven. Amen. <laughs>